Hi friends, the concept of high speed rail and high speed trains or bullet trains. This has been spoken about much in India over the past few years, especially with the advent of uh, semi high speed trains like Gatiman Express train 18 and so on. Already a high speed train network or a bullet train project is already underway in India between the two western Indian cities of Ahmedabad and Mumbai. This project is worth more than approximately 1 lakh crore rupees. Now, many of the Indian policy makers, they are speaking about establishing a pan-Indian high-speed rail network in India over the next few decades. Now, of course, we can establish such a pan-Indian high-speed rail network. But are we really discussing the intricacies of a high-speed rail network in India? Are we discussing the nitty gritties? Are we planning a high-speed rail network that is specifically suited to Indian needs, both economically as well as, as well as environmentally? So these questions have to be answered. I have seen many people, even IES aspirants, they will say that high-speed trains, they are maglev trains or magnetic levitation trains. You can see these maglev trains in countries such as Japan. These trains, they will run on a dedicated elevated track. There won't be any friction between the track and the train. As a result, the trains can reach very high speeds. So this is the maglev trains. I have seen many students, they will say high speed trains are maglev trains only. But whether this is the truth, this is not the truth. High speed trains can run on conventional track also, the, the normal rail tracks the tracks on which the EMU coaches run, on which the express train run, on which the freight trains run. So these are called the conventional tracks or normal tracks. So high speed trains can travel in the conventional rail also. In many European countries, especially France, the high speed trains, they travel in the conventional track itself. Right? So this is what you should understand. But the strength of the track that should be fortified enough to withstand the speed of the high speed train. France, for example, it uh, reached the speed record. The train called TGV reached the speed record many years ago in the conventional track only. Many people, they, they are not aware of this fact, right? Only then the speed was overtaken by maglev trains in other countries, right? So this is what you should understand. When we speak about maglev trains, there are certain advantages which we can't deny, okay? Since there is no friction, the trains can easily reach higher speeds. So, efficiency will be there, no doubt. Similarly, the noise level will be very, very less, almost negligible when compared to the conventional trains. Apart from that, acceleration, deceleration will be extraordinary because there is no friction at all, right? But there are many disadvantages. One is the heavy infrastructure cost. So heavy investment is involved when it comes to building the maglev trains. Right? Get it? When we speak about the conventional trains, there are some disadvantages. When we run high speed trains on the conventional tracks, noise would be very heavy because of the friction. Okay? And at the same time, some safety issues are there. But remember, maglev trains also experience safety issues. Many trains have met with accidents also. Okay, so please keep this in mind. Right? But the main advantage of conventional tracks, running high speed trains on conventional tracks is that the cost involved is comparatively very, very less. Along the existing route, we can lay parallel high speed conventional track for running high speed trains. For example, North India is very much suited for laying uh, railway tracks because a forest car in North India is comparatively less. So here we can easily lay the rail tracks. Also the nature of the surface is plain in nature, okay, Indo-Gangetic plains. So here we can easily lay parallel high speed conventional rail tracks for running high speed trains. So this is definitely a possibility in India. Environmentally also there won't be much damage. Economically also the cost involved will be comparatively very very less. But of course safety issues will be there. The problems of cattle crossing, people crossing and all. But this can be overcome. Okay, We can you know erect fences 
along the high speed trains okay so there are definitely solutions the conventional trains the high speed trains that run on the conventional tracks would be much better for india when we speak about a pan indian high speed rail network okay so we should have this in mind of course where it is possible we can go for maglev trains but i would say my personal opinion it is better to go for conventional high speed trains in india okay so france acts as a classic example for india to follow now this question arises how about the rolling stock the locos okay the train sets when we speak about the compartments okay the train sets definitely there is a challenge here for high speed trains right now we are not manufacturing the train sets in india some years ago we bought this talgo train from europe okay so the train sets they are specifically designed for semi high speed and high speed rail okay uh, so right now uh, building train sets is a challenge for india okay so compartments will have to design specifically for the high speed trains so our india our engineers have a very big task at hand when it comes to locos many people they have a misconception they will say that india do not have the locos to pull high speed trains once again this is a misconception the existing inventories the vap 5s vap 7s they themselves can reach very high speeds so the vag 9 the primary uh, workhorse of the freight trains of in india the loco called vag 9 is the same as that of vap 7 okay the vap 7 the engine that pulls the express trains the express passenger trains in india is nothing but a modified vag 9 okay so the gear system is modified so that the vap 7 pulls the trains at a higher speed vag 9 has higher pulling capacity but top speed is less vap 7 same engine due to gear modification it can pull at a higher speed right for running high speed trains on conventional tracks we can use the same workhorse vap 7 itself we can go for further gear modification so that the train reaches further speed okay so definitely we can increase the speed okay so speed won't be an issue right so high speed trains need not pull heavy loads okay the number of sets will be less only so this won't be a challenge for india uh, if in case vag 9 that is vap 7 is not suitable we can use the vag 12 okay so vag 12 can be once again modified okay so within the gear system we can do the modification we can use the vag 12 which is the most powerful locomotive in india right now we can use that for pulling the high speed conventional trains in india so definitely we have locos so this is not a issue for india so uh, my suggestion is that it's better to go for conventional high speed trains in india so wherever is possible you can do we have to go for these trains a major advantage of conventional high speed trains is that these trains can be run between cities they will run at higher speeds between cities so between intercities they can run on higher speed on parallel fortified tracks right when they reach the cities they can reduce their speed and they can run as normal trains okay so when they reach the interior they can reduce the speed and they can travel in the same route itself so we observe the same in the european countries also especially in france so this is another advantage of the conventional high speed trains right so these trains once they reach the cities they can you know uh, Uh, move to the local areas also so here they can reduce the speed accordingly so this train can change itself can modify itself based on the requirement but once again on a integrated conventional rail system itself so these are all the advantages of running high speed trains on conventional tracks in india we already have a wonderful network of uh, uh, rails in india so not much cost will be involved all we have to do is constructing parallel fortified high speed tracks we have to con- uh, we have to 
construct the fences security systems have to be installed we have the low cost if needed we can import the train sets definitely in future our own indian engineers they can manufacture the train sets for suiting the high speed trains in india so our policy makers have to give importance to this concept the concept of running high speed trains on conventional tracks in india i hope this video has been helpful to you thank you